Okay, to share your slideshow, you need to do two things. There are two share places. One is a button right here, and one is under File. We'll see that one in a second. You want to start with this one, say Share, and it's going to say something up here. It's going to say People who you, you specify can be. That means if I give you the link, then you can, it'll, you can share the slideshow. But I don't want you to give me the link. I want you to, to um, make it viewable by people in Los Angeles School District with the link can view. And apply. And let's see. We're going to, can view is fine. And then you could know, send, you know, there, you know, we don't have to do this part. You just want to, so you're just going to copy the link. There's the link, copy the link, and you're ready to go. So now you've got the link to the slideshow, which you're going to, which you don't really need. You just need to get this to say people with the link can view. Then you go to file, share, embed. This is the code you need. And, you know, start with the largest one because you can always make it smaller. And I'll show you, I'll show you the, the trick later. So now I'm going to copy this. This is the embed code. I'm going to open up my Google Sites and go to my website. So this assignment should appear in the website you created already for all the other assignments. So the one where you were supposed to embed a Sway and a YouTube video and in pages, that's the same website. The, the um, storyboard is supposed to be embedded on, on your website. So here's my website. I've got my storyboard. There's my storyboard page. I've got some PowerPoints already. I'm going to add a page to my website. Say, um, Adam's slideshow. Which will then, I have to click done, I guess. Can't hit enter. So I've added a page for Ansel Adam's slideshow. I'm going to go back to insert, click on the embed feature. I, I, I don't have a URL. I want to embed the code I was given. So I just click on embed code and insert. I click next and it gives me a sample. Okay, this is the page we're inserting. Is this the page you want? And you can just like scroll over and should be able to scroll over and see, but I guess you can't. That's weird. So I'll just click insert. Now, one of the issues is there's the PowerPoint, but it's the, the slide shows a little bit too big for the frame. So I'm going to make the frame bigger. And I'll make the frame taller. But it looks like it's still a little bit too big. So there's one sneaky bit of code you could add. So if you click on so this is the the uh, display view. Here's the the code that you made. All you have to do is go in here. So here's the here's the way it works. Iframe, which is this box, source, which is the link to the slideshow, and there's the ratio, height to width ratio, one point seven 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 seven. Width, eleven eighty six, height six ninety one, frame border yada yada yada. Um, what you can do is change this. 1180, 1,186 pixels. Uh, hold on, I can do it. Attendance thing really quick. Uh, here. Oh, this is awesome. Um, I'm I'm saying to myself, this is awesome because I'm I've got all these tabs and stuff open, and it's not slowing things down. So if I go here and I say width 186, and I change this to 100 percent it should let's see if it works yep it makes the box fit inside our display area so now it just changes things just a tiny bit and now it fits and so now i can you can actually go and and look at the preview and see how it's going to look on the web page so here's my web page and so i'm slideshow oops i need to take off the little apostrophe there slideshow and it's ready to go that's for the width yes for the width of the because this box displays somebody was asking if that's for the width so you just you only change the width and the width changes to 100 percent, and the, the width 
change, the place to change it, is in here. Now, you could, because it's got the height and width here, and the height and width ratio, it says 1.7, rep a 10. We'll do the math thing. It says 691 height, and we can actually go and use a calculator. And we know that the width of a HD monitor is 1920. And if you go divide it by 1080, you get 1.777 forever. If you wanted to change the width, so it, the width was like 1100 something. Uh, now, the other way to do this is you can go um, 1080 divided by 1920 and you get 0.5625. So if you have the width, so here's the height, height 60, 691. So I can go to 691, 691 times 1.7777777. Enter. 12.28 is the ratio that's going to fit. So now I'm going to go and take this out. And let's say I want to make that 1,000. I'm going to multiply that by, by that's the, going to be the long dimension. I'm going to make, multiply that by, that by 0.625. So I take that times 0.5625, enter, which is 562. So I'm going to go here. I could say width, change this to 1,000. And then change this to 562.5. Next, save. And now it's a little bit smaller, but still the correct ratio. All right, so I'm going to change this. I'm going to click here. So I'm going to put it back to, let's see, if, if I go back to 100%. Uh, it may leave the the height too narrow with this this here, but I want to just want to see how it's going to work out. Yep, now the ratio is off, so I want to get the the width better. Whoops. Uh, so let's change this to six ninety two, which was what I think it was before. There we go. Oh, I need to go preview. Now, I've, let's say I've made my slideshow, I've embedded this, I've, I've got the embed code all set up the way I want, it fits the frame. The next step is to publish, which then creates the slide, the, that page out in the world. And once I publish, actually I'm gonna go back, um, I wonder if there's a, there should be a way to go back. I think there, oh, here we go. Let's go back and I wanna change this right here. Take that off and click publish. And I'm gonna publish that page. Now that page has been added to the website so people can navigate to it. And the last step, I'm gonna to go to home my home page and click on the link to share. Don't share this link up here. That's the link to the editing site, not to the your website. Click on this link right here. There's the link I'm going to share in Schoology. So I copy that link, go back to Schoology, and turn that link in. I just put it in the Google the, the Schoology editor. And there you go. That's how you add your slideshow. Here's your Anselm slideshow. I don't know what state the link up there is not correct, not updated. But anyway, so there we go. There's the Anselm slideshow. That's how you embed your slideshow into your website. Now add the page, insert the HTML, insert the embed code, and then make that one change to make the width come out right. And you're good to go. Um, I'm going to stop recording that one.